Alrighty, one of my last construction updates from inside the park. Well, the construction crew is working. Um, totally a sad day. I was there filming. I met lots of employees who came up to me and recognized me. So thank you for even recognizing me and uh, watching my videos. And thank you to the people, uh, the families and the guests at the park too that came up and recognized me too. Today was an awesome day. I wasn't even expecting to meet anyone, but it turned out to be an amazing day of meeting people. Um, I guess a lot of people uh, heard that it was going to be one of my last days inside the park um, filming for during construction. So that was totally cool. Um, thanks for saying hi. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a video coming soon. There's a little sneak peek right here of some action going around Mindbuster. So we spent a good hour filming everything today. There were definitely some unique signs pointing at some weird activity around Mindbuster today. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out this weekend or early next week. Just going to figure some things out and um, put a good video together for you guys on that as I want to just make sure I get some things right before I make a video and jump to conclusions. Um, last night, a lot of track arrived. So as you can see, the Immelman loop starting is right there in the back there. You can tell by the support um, where the support beam is going to hook up, how it's slightly tilted off to the side. Um, that's really cool. So they got some Immelman pieces arriving. We're still waiting on three or four pieces for the lift hill. That's weird. I'm assuming they're going to arrive this weekend because in this update, you'll see why. Um, so there's a couple of parts. So I think this is the the pre-drop. I think that's the pre-drop. So you hit that last clamp break and before you get held on the pre-drop. It's then the other section right over here to the right is um, the right when you get to the top of the lift hill. So you can see the top of the lift hill cresting there, and then you see that little drive tires and clamps at the top as well. It's that or it's the other way around and reversed, <laughs> but I believe it's I believe what I just said is correct because it has lift hill 9 and lift hill 8 on them and matched up with the blueprints. That's what you get. Um, got some pretty cool shots inside of uh, some final things close up as the cold weather starts to slowly move in. Everyone is cringing and hating on me right now for even saying that. Um, but I will start my drone updates on Tuesday. So I'll be there Tuesday. Um, I'll go about twice a day. I'll go first thing in the morning and I'll go a little later. Or I may just decide to do one later shot. The problem with drones is you only get about 20 minutes of footage from a drone. So sometimes um, if a lot's going on, it's better to do two updates um, a day versus one. So that's why I might do two updates versus one to get about 40 minutes of footage that I can edit down into an exciting shot because over the next week the lift hill is going to go up and you'll see why they already got the support structures all connected together and ready to lift in meaning their intent next week is to definitely put the lift hill up so that's some exciting news um not too much exciting wise track wise um so nothing too exciting track wise sorry is what i meant to say there um they didn't install the first 60 foot segment uh they didn't even have that in the actual storage area and when we were there, we were kind of like, wait, at what point did we think it was OK <laughs> um, or even think that it would happen where they would install a massive structure where a footing is literally right next to Lazy River? There's no way while Slash Ricks is open that they could have lifted the lift hill structure into place because they have that risk of always it disconnecting from the crane or falling. And it would literally would have fallen into Lazy River. Um, so I, I don't think that uh, they were going to do the lift hill unless they were doing it before the park opened, like, you know, between 8 and 9 or 8 and 10. That would have been fine because Splashworks doesn't open till 11. But um, we were originally told it was they were hoping to have the lift hill done before Labor Day. It, it definitely looks like it's going to be about a week delayed. The lift hill will probably be done um, either Friday next week or Monday, Tuesday, the week after that. Uh, but that's still really exciting because you have to remember, you're going to be able to see a lot of this coaster done by the time Halloween Haunt starts, which is crazy. I'm assuming you're going to see the lift hill, the drop, and a bit of the Immelman started by Halloween Haunt, which is crazy. By the time Halloween Haunt starts, we could be seeing all that done. Um, there are little weird signs. So we saw Halloween Haunt lights in the pathway area near Yukon Striker. So that was a little weird. That I'm like, wait, are they going to close the path or are they not going to close the path? I don't have an answer. Um, I definitely am going to reach out the, to the park because I want to do something cool for Halloween Haunt. I don't want to say what it is yet, but I want to do a really cool video for Halloween Haunt because Halloween Haunt is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, now, in my previous video, I was asking people, what are these things? And people thought I was talking about the anti-rollbacks. But it's th these weird black bumpers, I think, is what they're called on a coaster lift hill. I, I tried looking them up online, and that's the name I got. They're called like black bumpers or bumpers 
on a lift hill and I don't know what their purpose is. So if anyone knows what a bumper on a lift hill is designed for, um, please comment down below because I would love to know. I just, I wanted to get a close up shot because I thought they were really cool. So as you can see, lots of exciting things going, no, there's not, too, <laughs> not much going on in the um, construction site today. They're doing all the fine little details for the pre-lift. Again, that's probably the most, um, that in the station, the, uh, Hardest parts to work on, most amount of work to do in terms of installing little things, attention to detail and all of that. That's probably why they're spending a little extra time there. The netting on the brake run is all done and they are lifting, as you can see in the background there, they're lifting supports into place. Um, so the first A-frame, it's the tiniest A-frame on the lift hill. So it's the very first one, lift four, um, parts one and two, left one, left two, right one, right two. So that's what they're doing. You can tell they're very small. And that's your first A-frame. And you'll see at the end of this, it's completely put together. And uh, it was really cool to see that, actually. It looked really cool. You could tell how big it was. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see that go up on Tuesday. In fact, that's what I like about the drone. So the drone gives you a far away perspective. You don't get to thing, see things up close. I'm really going to miss this ability to see this in action up close. We've been very lucky at Canada's Wonderland to see construction up close like this. Not a lot of construction projects for coasters you're able to, as a guest, get this close. So that was really cool to experience as a group and a, an enthusiast group. I, I know everyone enjoyed it. Everyone I meet in person has loved seeing this coaster in person. And again, everyone's like, you know, the video's are awesome, but they really don't put into perspective how large this project is, and that is 100% true. And that's where the drone footage does suck, because it takes away the size of the project. So when you're flying the drone, it takes away the size, but it is some of the best footage you can get for tracking coaster construction, especially the lift hill. And a lot of people were missing it. Every time I meet someone in person, they're like, oh, I really miss the drone footage. So that's why I'm really excited to finally get the drone back up for you guys and to track the construction project. Again, we are working on a very special project. Uh, we have literally days and months of footage uh, tracking this project. So we will definitely have a very big documentary at the end. But here you can see the first A-frame for the lift hill ready to go, and it'll probably be installed on Tuesday. Anyways, thanks so much again for everyone that has joined me through the season tracking construction in person. We are now going to switch over to our drone footage as of Tuesday, and I'll go on Saturdays for about 30 minutes to get quick updates in person of what's going on. But thanks so much for joining in. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one. Bye.